let's imagine teenagers in a high school. You've got a guy and a girl who are both tens. Well, what's going to happen to them is they're going to get a lot of offers from the opposite sex, and they're eventually going to have some sense that they have m lots of more opportunities. If you're a, a five or a six, as most people are, they'll let you know. You'll get feedback, basically. This is something we all have to learn, and it can be a painful process. To glimpse a sped up version of this learning curve, Dr. Kenrick put a microphone on the woman who is ranked number three and asked her to narrate her mate selection strategy. I guess everyone's gonna start off going to the number 10 guy. Three, one, four, ten. Oh, ten is taken now. Nobody will make eye contact with me. I'm not really used to that. I like that one, yeah. But the number's too low. I can do better. Let's see. One, no, seven. I can, oh, he's being paired up. I have a feeling I have a very low number because no one's coming over to me at all right now. Come on. Two, no, I can do better than that. Um, we're running out of numbers. One, eight. I guess this is all that's left. Okay, I'm stuck with two. 